Finally, hey everyone. Um, not real sure why that took so long for me to get on, but whatever. It took a few minutes. So I just wanted to come on real quick and tell you how excited I am about my new hearing aids. And today is day one of getting to wear them. Hey, Mom Clary. Um, wow, already so many new sounds. So first of all, uh. My voice sounds slightly different and kind of like I'm in a bathroom, but not quite as echoey like that, but just slightly. Anyway, apparently I'll adjust to a lot of the things I'm adjusting to today. Uh, I should adjust soon. So anyway, hey Kimberly. Um, so anyway, I wanted to come in here on here and show you what my hearing aids look like. And um, I'm happy to say that from most angles, you can't even see them. Of course, when I have my hair down, you can't see anything, which I'll be wearing my hair down more a lot. But um, if I have my hair like up in a full ponytail, of course, from the back, you can see the over the ear part. But what I wanted to say is, oh my gosh, the sounds. So because I haven't heard many sounds, right? for a long, three decades, almost four decades. Um, it's, it's such a discovery and it's been so interesting, like just hearing my footsteps walk on different, um, like the ground and the cement and wood, the different sounds that it, my feet make on those textures and paper. Oh my gosh. First of all, paper makes a sound. That was a new discovery to me and paper's freaking loud. I pulled out some money and that's a loud sound, that crisp sound. And like someone was shuffling papers and I heard that and I'm just like, oh my gosh, paper. Paper is a, an amazing discovery of a sound. Um, one really interesting thing, when I do this to my hair, like I can literally hear the sound. I don't even know how to describe that sound. Hey, Stephanie, I love you so much. I don't know how to describe that sound, but I hear my hair. For you people who actually hear well, that probably makes sense to you because you hear your hair every single day. But um, I've never heard my hair before. And like I scratched my head, I could hear myself scratching. This is really weird, guys. Hey, Amy, good to see you. Um, yeah, so anyway, the paper has been the biggest like, oh my gosh. And then I was eating in the restaurant and they had like the two doors that came open and closed. And I wasn't, I had my back toward that. And I heard like a, to me it sounded like one of those, if you're calling a duck and you put it in your mouth and you're like, Burr! it sounded like that. And I was like, what is that noise? And my friend was like, it's the door shutting. Have you not ever heard that before? We've eaten there several times. No, I had not heard the door ever. And then there was a TV like up behind me and it was so strange to me because it was as if, as if someone was like right in my ear talking like this on the news broadcast. I'm like, this is really annoying. It's distracting from me talking to the person I'm talking to. And I had to like look around because it really felt like somebody was like close to my ear talking in my ear and it was just the TV that was like back up on the ceiling. Y'all, I feel like I'm in twilight and I have like supersonic hearing. Anyway, so I'm going to show you what they look like um, from, you can't really see them much, which is awesome. Um, I'm just going to pull my hair back. Oh, God, that's so weird. I hear that noise. <laughs> Sorry, it's just a really weird feeling to hear. Like, who knew that this makes a sound? That's... Oh, wow. Okay, anyway, focus. So, for, pretty much from like a straight on angle, you can't see it at all. You can't really see it here. You might be able to see it here. They did a really good job of matching my hair and skin. So you can see that little part over my ear. I don't know if you can see the cord going into my ear. But this one actually is the most noticeable from the side. If you, um, I don't know if I'm getting a good angle, but... You can actually maybe see the cord 
I know you can see the over the ear part and then maybe you can see the part that goes in my ear canal right here there was a little stick that was hanging out and I was like oh, no we have to cut that that's not gonna be like sticking out of there so anyway um, from that angle and then obviously from the back you can see I did get the bigger battery life ones because you know I'm not high maintenance so I don't want to be changing out a battery every two or three days but these batteries my right ear I'll have to change more because it's it needs more help <laughs> um, so it might last a week but my left ear will probably last two weeks so anyway here's my left ear and they are a little bit different I'll take them out and show them to you I don't know if that's a good angle this one doesn't have the same contraption in the middle. So let me just um, take them out and show them to you. And hopefully I can get them back in and turn it off for a minute. <laughs> oh, I can tell when I just undid it, like the sound is different. So, um, it doesn't hurt at all. I'm just trying to be careful. So this is what... I don't know if it can focus. Um, my left ear looks like a lot of contraptions, but that little hangy thing right there is to help keep it in my ear. So like when I'm running and stuff, it'll stay in. And you'll notice, let's see if it focuses. I'll try to put it in my forehead so it'll focus. Um, that little kind of jellyfish thing that goes into my ear canal and allows me to uh, have the sound go right down in there. I've only put these in once, so bear with me. <laughs> One-handed. All right. So anyway, that's what this one looks like. And the right one is quite different, just for various reasons, mostly because my hearing loss is so much more in my right ear. So anywho. Um, so then it goes back in, and then I'm going to turn it back on. And it has this little ding noise to tell me, that it's then it's like din 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 and then it's back in and what's awesome is even though it goes like way in your ear canal I don't even really feel it like <coughs> I can feel like there's something in there but it's not annoying and it's not a lot of pressure so I'm going to take this one out because this one's much more interesting um let me turn it off first so we didn't uh, we turned off all the, wow, such a difference, all the manual adjustments for uh, this one. It, it has quite sophisticated um, adjustments. So I'm going to put this against my shirt. Well, I don't know. Hold on. Can you see that? I don't know if it'll focus. So this one's different. It goes above the ear and the wire goes down. But then I have an actual mold. Let me see if I can put something behind this. And yeah, this one is actually molded to my ear. And um, it fits in much more snug and it goes much deeper. The problem is I don't really have deep ear canals. So that's one of the reasons why I couldn't get one of the types of ear hearing aids. Um, and then all the wiring in there you can see. And this is going to help me funnel that noise all the way into my ear um, so that I can hear, get much more value out of it. Because they're having to turn it up so much that I just need the extra assistance. And then it hides behind my ear. And the color is really good for my hair. I have a lot of gray there, so I was thinking to go lighter, but because... Like most of the hair is darker, we went darker. Anyway, I'm really happy with it. Let me turn it back on so I can hear again. Um, yeah. Oh, and there's my chime. So <laughs> it's so weird. It's like ding, 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 ding. So I know it's working. And then when the battery's about to die, there'll be a voice that comes on and says, battery. And you have about 10 minutes to change it. So um that's another reason why I got the longer lasting batteries so I can uh, 
not, I don't carry a purse, so it's more challenging to have batteries on hand. I'll just have to keep some in my drawer at work and in my car, so I'll have them handy. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here and share my excitement for the new sounds. Um, everybody talks about going to the bathroom and how it's really different, but honestly, I mean, it's a little bit louder, but the flush didn't bother me at all. Uh, which is what most people complain about. But anyway, um, as hearing people, I guess this may not be uh, interesting. I don't know. Uh, because I'm I'm hearing sounds that you hear every day. But they're just a really interesting discovery for me. So uh, anyway, paper, uh, my footsteps, and my hair. And then putting on my jacket. Oh my gosh, I have like a padding as Koreans call it um, jacket and it's very like <laughs> really interesting just interesting sounds that are around me so stay tuned I'm sure I'll come back on an update and just to give you a financial update I have paid for 35 percent of my hearing aids which is awesome and I got zero finance zero percent financing for a year so I'm hoping that I can generate extra income which totals about about three hundred dollars a month that I have to pay to get paid off in the time allotted so um, keep making the purchases if you're interested in toothpaste or makeup all those proceeds are going to my hearing aids and have gotten us a long way so far um, with my bonus at work again 35 percent finance so that's amazing um, i'm so appreciative and so grateful for everybody who's supported me and given and purchased so anyway have a wonderful night happy thursday and we'll talk soon. Bye.